Hi guys and welcome to episode 31 of the Iron Woman series. Um, today we are going to be getting on with some quests. Uh, so many I need to get ticked off. There is so many here that need doing. So we're going to start getting rid of some of these. So yeah, not sure how many we're going to get done today but we're going to give it a good old crack. Okay, so kicking off. Um, we have currently done what? 19 big game dinos and we've already picked up the dinosaur rib bone now it popped up saying it was a very rare thing so i mean how rare it is i don't know but i think for 19 tracks and kills i think that might be pretty good but yeah we're going to keep that obviously for i'm pretty sure it's the hunter lodge at level 90 that we need so we're going to be keeping that and that's pretty handy at least we don't have to go for that later on so I'm doing a bit of big game hunter before we do some quests and we've just got our first dino drop. So I'm happy with that. That is, I don't know if that's rare or, you know, I mean, we've only done what, 21 kills, I think, 20, I don't know, but yeah, we got our first drop. So um, cool, nice. Record. Okay, so it's not picking up the game. I don't know why. But we've just got level 70 attack and yeah, we are doing a bit of ED3 because I need money. Obviously I need money for summoning, so we're doing that. And then we're also going to be doing, um, well we're doing attack really for the quest weapon. And we are also, which is the dragon halberd as well for the regicide. I think it's that quest, I'm not sure. And I'm also aiming for level 80 attack so we can do some vindicta as well with dark because he said they will take me, so... Yeah, we are currently doing that at the moment. First ever mass cap kill and we got fucking codex. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that is mental. And now that I have calmed down from that high, we are putting down the codex. We are unlocking the codex and we put it on con corruption blast uh, for mage. Because we'll see mage is the skill that we use the most. So yeah, we are just going to find it now. There it is. So nice to have that unlocked already. So we've unlocked 70 summoning. Um, literally got 6 mil from the ED3s and bought a load of spirit shards to get this done. So it's a little bit closer to Prif. And then I decided to do some Tusker's Wrath. We need to unlock it. So we've ended up getting the 4,000 that we need. And here we go. Finally, another ability that we needed to get. And we've unlocked it. I thought we'd do it whilst we can, I think. Alright, so we're going to be doing Regicide as our first quest um, today. Uh, definitely need to start getting back into quests. So we're going to... S I've got a nice list. They're not in any order. They're not any particular quests that I need to do. But they're just random quests. And we're just going to crack on and try and get some ticked off. Hit some um, milestones so we can go to May and get more money that way as well. So these are all ways that we can get money on Iron. So obviously you've got ED you got quests. Um, another way is um, doing safe cracking as well and selling your stuff at the guild, in the thieving guild. So these are ways that we're going to try and boost our money today. We need to do um, quests anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing. And that is the Tiruan, I think it's pronounced, Lodestone Unlocked. And we have completed Regicide, which is three quest points, loads of agility, so I'm happy with that. Plus, we have also been able to wield the Dragon Halberd as well, which is going to be useful um, just for training, attack and strength as well. And also, we've also unlocked Slayer Tasks for Elves, so I'm happy with that. That's another quest down for Brif. We haven't got many more left to do, I don't think. It's about three or four, if I remember correctly. Not many quests, uh, not many skills left to do either on that one. I think we've got one, two or th we've got three left, so... We're getting closer to Prif. So we're going to go into doing the feud quest. I know this is a pre-quest for some recipe of disaster, so I thought that would be a good idea to get that one done as well. So Okay, so the feud is complete, so we get some nice 15k thieving XP on that one, which is also useful because this is the quest we need to get done for the um, safe cracking, I think it is, or to do a part of it, for it anyway. And then we are going straight into doing Recruitment Drive. And this is part of the White Knight series. I needed to get a few of these done as well. 
and we have finished recruitment drive got a little bit of xp and a few uh, different skills which is fine you know every little helps and all that um has anyone else had this bug before uh i literally feel like i'm playing the sims like that's how bugged out it was like it was only on i think it was on selective i ended up having to just turn off roofs in the end but th this was just so annoying and after that I went straight into Wanted and finished up 5k Slayer XP, you know, with one of the White Knight series, easy to get done. And then following in through with the Slug Menace, you know, a little bit of XP goes a long way. Again, this is just, I'm ploughing through these quests for Recipe for Disaster because I really wanted to get that one done in the end. And um, we have finished Hand in the Sand. I am aware that at the end of this quest you can go back to the same guy where you start the quest and you can get free buckets of sand and I know that is useful for summoning um, and I'm pretty sure there's another reason as well for the hand in the sand, um, like buckets of sand, uh, but I can't think for the top of my head as we speak but yeah always go back to that guy and get your daily free buckets of sand, I think it's like it ranges from like 70 to 100 I think, I can't remember but yeah definitely do this. Okay, next up we are doing Garden of Tranquility and now this quest, I hate this quest, it takes so long to bloody get through. It is ridiculously long to wait for stuff to grow and collect things and ugh, yeah, not looking forward to it but we're going to do it anyway. I mean, come on Jagex, you really need to update this because can anyone else read this or is it just me? Like, I can't, like, what the hell, come on, sort it out. And we have finished Garden of Tranquility. Uh, again, like I said before, this was a horrible quest. I don't like it. Do not recommend, but you've got to do it anyway if you want to get Recipe for Disaster done. Like, you need to get this stuff finished. But yeah, this is just not nice at all. And then we're going to go in with Legends Quest. Been meaning to do this one for a while. Had to get some of this stuff ticked off. But you've done it now. So we're going to be doing this one next. I also forgot about how long it takes to do this one as well this one was quite a long one and i completely forgot how, how long it was but yeah i'm just collecting my um xp and then it's all going in prayer as you know we need to get prif stats and all that so prayer was the only one on here that i that i could get so it all went on prayer there we go all nice and finished. Four quest points as well, so that's nice as well. So we're ticking off some of these and we are getting our money eventually from May. And here we have it. It's the moment we've been waiting for. Recipe for disaster. Let's get this started. This isn't going to be long. It's going to take me a while. Probably a few days, but yeah, we're going to do it. Now, I want to say for starters, do not do this with a kitten because this has taken me an hour. An hour in the end to get everything I needed one hour always grow for a cat so here are all the sub quests for recipe for disaster i mean it took me a good few days to complete all these and the only things i have to say is obviously don't do evil dave with a kitten because it takes you bloody ages and also the last one that took me ages and i mean ages was cer ceramic vase um that took me because you have to grow the sweet corn and i burn about four or five patches of sweet corn before I finally grew a successful one and I mean that was just in the end I just sat there and stared at one grow because it was dying all the time but we got there in the end and we have completed it so we are we have a fair few quest points now I think it's like I can't think for the top of my head but it's like 250 something I think maybe around that yeah so obviously next video it's probably going to be more quests. Hopefully I can go in more depth with them and I am going to stop rambling. Obviously like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Any comments are always welcome and I shall see you in the next episode. Oh, before I go I want to say thank you to all the new subs as well. We are currently over 800 and I'm really happy about that. So yeah, I'm going to go. P.S. Don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.